Hola, mis amigos. Welcome to Lindita's Kitchen, and I am Lindita. Today, I'm gonna to be making some ceviche made with fresh tilapia. It's beautiful, beautiful cuts, just like this. And I actually got mine from Daya Campus Wellness Center, and it comes actually vacuum sealed and frozen, so you thaw it out in the refrigerator. And if you don't get it there, get it at your local grocery store, nice and fresh. So for this recipe, it takes two pounds. Two pounds for this exact recipe. So we're gonna go ahead and cut this up. It doesn't matter which direction you go with this. I'm just gonna dice them small because you want them to go on your tostada and your, your tacos as I'm gonna be showing you here later. I'm gonna go this way. So you want to cut small diced cuts. I see. And they're nice and meaty too. So the beautiful thing about this recipe is that actually it cooks in the refrigerator. Can you? Yeah, cooks right in the refrigerator and I'll show you here in a minute. So we're gonna go ahead and add this in with the, the remainder. And I'm gonna go ahead and add, here we go, we're gonna add one lime one lime, and I've already kind of you know, worked it, so you want to get it nice and soft because it gets real juicy. And this recipe actually takes, I'm gonna say about nine, nine uh, limes. So again, it's a little over a cup. I see. So you know I worked out this morning squeezing all these limes. <laughs> okay. See how pretty that is? It just, oh, nice and juicy. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and add it to our fish, our tilapia. And I'm gonna go ahead and just, uh, just move it around. Because what you want to do is have the juice cover the whole fish. And it will actually cook in the refrigerator. The limes will cook it. So, do it like that. Then we're gonna put a little wrap on it. And we're gonna stick this in the refrigerator. Now, if you have people coming over, uh, you could actually leave this for like about a half hour, but I prefer to go, you know, a couple hours. You know, get it really in there. And I get in there and I do mix it up a little bit more and keep it wrapped, you know. But a lot of people don't, you know, they, they like to just do uh, about a half hour. I recommend over an hour, just saying. And you'll see the difference here in a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the refrigerator and we'll get started with our mix. Yay. Okay, let's get our ceviche going. So I've already peeled my cucumber and I've actually taken out all the seeds. So what you wanna do is just flip it over and do it really thin as well because we're gonna be dicing it and um, so we want to get in there and dice it really good. You want small pieces and you want that crunch. That's why I actually add, I added the whole uh, cucumber. <laughs> the recipe actually calls for like a half and we've always made it when you're doing small amounts, but I am doing a lot of fish. So I'm going to go ahead and I do love the cucumber. And I love the crunch, so you wanna just make sure you chop it up really well. Da, 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 da. <laughs> I don't have any maracas, otherwise I'd be using them too. So I'm gonna go ahead and use it with my knife. <laughs> Mira, así. Chanclear, as my daddy would say. That's when you do this, right? You hear that sound? Mm -hmm. That's why it's called ceviche. Ceviche. <laughs> I'm just kidding. So we're gonna go ahead and toss that in our bowl mixture. 
Let's see. And then we've got, I'm gonna go ahead and use my onion. I'm gonna use a half an onion, and we love onions, like I said. There's always a process. So we're gonna use half, half an onion. And if you want them, like I'm doing them really small, because I want them diced fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and just make them smaller. We're gonna use a half an onion. And this is the yellow onion. And yellow onions, you know, they're a little sweeter than just the white. So, just so you know. Mira, how beautiful is that? My mom had all kinds of secretas, no? Secrets in the kitchen that I'm sharing with you as well. Here we go again. So one half onion. Like I said, if you want to use, you know, if you have, and, and a lot of times I do, whatever I have in the refrigerator, I'll use. But if, um, for this recipe, I do like the yellow onion and it has a little sweet sweetness to it. I see. Go ahead and scoop it all in here. And this is going to make a lot, but then again, we're going to be fixing a lot. So you'll see what I'm talking about here in a little bit. Okay, so put this onion inside. And a cirano, a cirano pepper is actually hotter than a jalapeno. My dad used to eat them like, just like this. And then you wonder he didn't have any teeth. Just kidding, he had teeth. I just thought I'd tell you a cute story. So we want to cut that off, the tip, the stem. Cut it in half. And we're gonna take out the seeds. Well, you know what? I could use a little spoon here. Mm -hmm. Las semillas. Just like that, because it is hot. They're hot. And so you wanna remove the seed on this one in the vein. Let's move that to this side. And again, we're gonna do them really thin. You don't want long nails on this one. <laughs> Just saying. Okay. Dice them up really fine. No, I'm serious. My dad used to eat the the Cirano peppers just like that and in my grandmother's house the peppers were so hot I don't know in San Antonio everything's hot there so he would just eat them just like that and crunch away and I I, I couldn't do that I have to have mine in, in a mixture of something ceviche okay we're gonna toss that in our bowl let's get rid of these seeds here I'm gonna just toss them over here like that and then we're gonna do our tomato now a lot of people you know if you don't like the seeds you can you know you can cut the edges or maybe I'll show you you know a lot of people don't like the the seeds because uh, this is a good way to do it you can have some in there again and then you know you don't want to throw this out either <laughs> you know what you're gonna add this to lindita salsa so we're gonna put that aside, and then I'm gonna just go ahead and dice this up as well. Small size, small dices. Yeah. We're getting ready for summer. Spring is around the corner. It's spring is here, what should I say? Oh my gosh, it's spring. And summer is already, it's 80 degrees out today. It's beautiful. So next time you see me, we'll probably be outside grilling it up. So get ready for that show. It's going to be fun. Hopefully we'll get some special guests in here later. So see, and I, you know, you would do the same thing. If you use the whole tomato, you would do the same thing as we did to the onion. So you take the whole tomato and just cut it, dice it like that, and then do the same thing. But in this case, since I took out most of the seeds, it's, you know, it's a little harder, but you get the idea, right? So we're gonna just dice them up. A 
Oh, yes. Start dancing. <laughs> In the kitchen, there's always, if you come to my house, you know there's always a party here. It's always fun, family, music, laughter. And we all sit in the kitchen and just talk and have a good time. It's my therapy, I guess. <laughs> As my daughter-in-law, Sammy, said to me, Mom, it's, it's your therapy. We come and we talk, and it is. It really is, and I love it. Okay, I think that's pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead. it in. Okay, last but not least is our fresh cilantro. And I got this at, uh, at Dahlia Campus as well. And they're really fine, so it's about, uh, I would say four teaspoons of cilantro, fresh cilantro. And you just take them and just crunch it up. Uh-huh. Beautiful. Let's toss it in just like that. And of course, we're gonna top it off with some salt. I'll just do that right now. And I'm not big on salt, but it's also good, especially when you're sweating a lot and you're working out. You need a little bit of that, so I'm gonna just add a little bit more. And we're gonna set this aside because next we're gonna be making our rice. So we're gonna start with our with our cilantro rice. So I'm gonna go ahead and add two cups. You could use the long grain rice, long grain jasmine rice. Um, I'm actually using a jasmine rice for this. And what you wanna do is get it so where the water is clear, you wanna get it uh, rinsed out really well, so it's not real cloudy. Now we're gonna turn this off. I think we got it. I'm gonna go ahead and add it to the water. So in this case, it doesn't have to be boiling, but you do want it a little warm. We're gonna toss the rice right in there like that. Add a little bit more heat to that. Add some salt. It's about two teaspoons of salt. And two teaspoons of oil. And I use the olive oil. Okay. And we're gonna add, actually if you have one, but I'm using two bay leaves and just a touch of cilantro. So we're gonna get that cooking up. We wanna bring it to a boil, and once that boils, once that boils, I then put a lid on it and then bring it down to a simmer and then let it cook for 15 to 18 minutes. And it'll be done. You don't have to do anything else. You don't have to stir it, do anything. Just let it cook. Okay, so it's coming to a nice boil. So I'm gonna bring the heat down to like a simmer just like that. Then we can go ahead and put a lid on it. But you have to keep your eye on it because sometimes it overspills. So if you do that, just set it off to the side and just bring it back. But I think it's okay for right now. Let's let it go for 15 minutes. Okay, so our tilapia is all done. It's been sitting in the refrigerator for over an hour. And again, we added a little over a cup of fresh limes, and the fresh lime will actually cook the fish. So you don't have to put it on the stovetop or anything like that. Just make sure that you leave it in the refrigerator for a little over an hour, okay? So now we're gonna strain it. Take the juices out. Just gonna slowly, we're gonna discard the lime juice after it gets done draining. Let's see. 
for a little while. And what we want to do is just press it down a little bit here just to get some of the juices out because then it will get bitter if you have too much lime in there when you're mixing it all up. Um, so you just want to press and discard the rest of the, the juice. Now we're going to add it to our ceviche. So just go ahead and toss it in there and mix it up. Our rice is cooking. I think it's almost done. Turn it to a, it's so beautiful, the colors, and it is so refreshing. It's a great spring, summertime dish. You can serve it up so many different ways, and I'm going to show you here in a little bit different ways to do this presentation, because it's always a presentation at my house to make it at yours as well. So we're going to set this aside and get our griddle going so we can warm up our tortillas. We're going to do our tostadas now. And what I've done is taken your regular corn tortilla and I've added some oil on both sides. I've added oil to them. So we're going to let them cook up a little bit. And this is, I'll say this is the perfect time to actually add some seasoning to it. And I'm using the Lindita's Hot seasoning. Okay. And then when we flip them, we'll put them on the other side too. Okay. So they're not done just yet to flip. So now we're going to check on our rice. See how that's coming along. Perfect. Nice and steamy. And they are done. So what we're going to do here shortly is, actually I can take them out right now. The bay leaves, we're going to take out. Oh, nice. They're ready to, to turn. So I'm going to go ahead, and again, I'm using Lindita's, the hot, this is a hot salsa mix. And it comes in a bag, but it's also, you can put it in one of these little grinders and use it for rub over your fish. You can put it on your meat. It's so versatile. So we're gonna add that to it. Okay, so our rice is nice and steamy. I just put it in this bowl. And what we're gonna do is go ahead and add one, actually it's one tablespoon of the oil, olive oil. And I'm, you know what I'm gonna do is, actually I'm gonna add another, the other half of my lime. You want one lime uh, juice to go with this. It is a cilantro lime rice recipe. So yeah, that's what we need. So we're gonna add one lime to the rice. And of course my fresh cilantro, I'm gonna just, um, you can dice, chop it up, but I'm gonna go ahead and use my hands. Oh, so pretty. And these two, this recipe goes so well together. The tilapia, ceviche, and the lime. And cilantro rice. And that's all you need. This is all you need. You don't need to add any more salt to it because it's got plenty of lime. And remember, we added the salt to, to the rice while it was before it was cooking. So that's ready to go. So I think we've got everything here. So let's just serve it up. Okay. Mira, mis amigos, it is all done. We have our fish tilapia ceviche. We have our tacos, tostadas, our wrap. And I did add a little avocado to top it off with, but you can also serve it up in a little dish like this with some chips and crackers. And of course, you wanna use your side dish, our cilantro lime rice. How refreshing is this? And of course, you can top it off with some little hot sauce. Top it off with that or with Lindita's salsa. And of course, you can pick up Lindita Salsa at linditasalsa.com on Amazon and at Nick's Garden Center as well. And I just want to thank our sponsors, 
We have Dahlia Campus that provided me with the beautiful display of our green veggies that you can also order online. And you know, go to our website and or at the end of the credits and you'll get that information as well. And pick up your fish there too. They also have catfish as well. And again, Nick's Garden Center is on fire right now. The market is just brewing. So we're gonna be going down there as well. And you know, the Chili Fest is gonna be happening. I'll be doing some green chili. We're having a show down there. We're gonna also be doing some grilling outside. So I want you to stick around for our shows. And again, I wanna thank you, our viewer, for watching our show. And I hope that you are enjoying the recipes and you can do this at home as well for your family. And again, I just wanna say thank you so much with, from the bottom of my heart. And with that, I just want to say gracias, and we will be seeing you soon. Salud.